Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll talk about VHDL data types. So VHDL stands for Very High Speed Integrated Circuits Hardware Description Language. So this is a programming language which is used to describe the hardware. So let's talk about the data types which VHDL supports. So what is data type basically? So in VHDL, there are four types of data objects, signals, variables, constants, and files. So data types means the kind of value a data object can hold. So kind of value means what? If I have one circuit, is suppose I have half adder, it has two inputs and two outputs. So inputs are suppose A, B and outputs are sum and carry. So which value input A and B can hold? Which value output can hold? So it will hold binary value 0 or 1. So data type can be bit or standard logic. So kind of value a data object can hold are called as data types. So in VHDL, it has some predefined data types and we can also define our own data type. So here and the predefined data types are defined by IEEE 1076 standard and IEEE 1164 standard. So VHDL data types are divided into four categories, scalar, array, composite and enumerated. Again, scalar data type is further div divided as uh, Boolean, integer, natural, real, bit, standard logic and standard U logic. Out of these data types, we generally use standard logic data type while writing the VHDL code. I'll explain each and every data type in detail with examples in upcoming slides. Then next comes array. So there are bit vectors, standard logic vectors and standard U logic vectors. So array is basically collection of same data types. So array can have all bits. They can have the values present in standard logic. So that is array. Then comes composite data type. So it has array. Array means one dimensional array. So it can have 0 to 7 values, 0 to 3 values. Array of array that is two dimensional arrays multi-dimensional arrays and then record in array we can store only one type of data either we can have all integers we can have all binary numbers we can have boolean values whereas in case of record we can have values of different other data types then comes enumerated or user defined data type here vhdl allows you to define your own data type and we generally use enumerated data type in fsm modeling finite state machine modeling because there we need to define our number of states in our fsm so let's start with scalar data type so in scalar data type the first one is boolean so in boolean there can be two values either true or false so example i have one data object variable name is a variable a is of type boolean it means a can have only true or for false value a cannot have one a cannot have zero a cannot have three four five any other integer value it can only have either true or false because data type of a is boolean next is integer so vhdl supports 32 bit integer 32 means what zero to 31 so here this value is 2 raised to 31 minus 2 plus so integer is 32 bit integer so here i have taken an example of signal signal sum name is given as sum you can give any name sum and it is of type integer so it can have any value from this range and i have assigned initial value as 16 next comes natural 
so natural is nothing but integer only the thing is only in integers we have negative values as well as positive values whereas in natural we have only non negative integers so here you can see range of natural is 0 to the 2 raised to 31 the maximum value then comes real so here it is from minus 1 e raised to e 38 to 1 e 38 and remember this real data type is non synthesizable it means synthesizable means the code the statements from which hardware can be generated whereas in case of real numbers we cannot generate any hardware so real are non synthesizable a data type real is a non synthesizable data type we can use it for simulation purpose an example is constant the constant data type or data object is constant name is pi its data type is real so pi is my real data type and value is 3.14159 next comes bit next scalar data type is bit so bit can have see in binary number system there are two values 0 and 1 so bit can have either 0 or 1 so example is we always use our data type with data object so signal is my data object name of my data object is x and its data type is bit it means x can have either 0 or 1 value so x is assigned as this is an assignment operator in vhdl is assigned as 1 next is bit vector see this bit vector is my array data type i have taken it here with bit because they are uh, this is bit bit means one bit value whereas bit vector means group of bits they are quite similar and that is why i have clubbed them together so bit vector is basically array it is group of bits and those bits can be two bits three bits four bits n number of bits or we can call it as bus so example is signal a is bit underscore vector vector means multiple values bit underscore vector 0 to 7 0 to 7 means what total there are eight values so see here a is assigned as 0 then 4 times 1 0 0 total eight bits you any eight bits you can assign all ones all zeros or 0 0 1 1 any eight bits value you can assign here while defining bit vector you can define it as 0 to 7 or you can define it as 7 down to 0 because while writing we always write our msb at left hand side and lsb at right hand side so here instead of 0 to 7 you can write 7 down to 0 both ways are correct only next is standard logic and standard logic vector the most commonly used data types in vhdl they are just like bit the only thing is in bit how many values we have we can either have zero or one so total values are two only but when we deal with hardware see if zero means zero volt and one means five volt is it possible that i'll always get five volts no sometimes i may get 5.5 volt sometimes i may get 4.5 volt sometimes i may get 3.8 volt any voltage level i can get at the output or while applying input i may uh, may not apply perfect 5 volts so what about those voltages in digital we can say 0 and 1 but while applying voltage we must consider the these voltage levels and that is why this standard logic data type is made so this is eight valued logic system c standard logic and standard u logic are different standard logic is subset of standard u logic so here are eight values x is forcing unknown Zero is forcing low means strong zero. One is forcing high that is strong. 
1 z is high impedance w is weak unknown l is weak low now see what is difference between this zero forcing low and weak low zero means i'm getting exactly zero volts whereas weak low means my voltage is not exactly zero volts it is 0.5 volt or 0.8 volts or 1.2 volt but not exactly but it is in noise margin only it is in the given margin i can assume it as zero but it is not perfect zero and that is why weak low weak high dash is don't care don't care means it is designer's choice to consider it as one or zero now see there are eight logical levels in exam many times during oral at least questions are like uh, different logical levels present in standard logic and standard u logic so in standard u logic there are nine logic levels standard logic has eight logic levels and here you should know this x 0 1 z w l h and don't care out of these logic levels only 0 1 and high impedance are synthesizable it means in hardware we can deal with these levels only others are for simulation purpose so see in standard logic means one bit standard logic vector means when vector comes it means array so here see signal x is of standard is of type standard logic so instead of bit what we are writing standard logic so standard logic can have any value 0 1 high impedance uh, w any value it can have so here x is assigned as 0 variable y is of type standard logic vector 0 to 3 0 to 3 means total four values so i have uh, assigned value 1010 one, now see what is difference here different here here assignment operator for signal is arrow or you can say less than an equal to symbol it looks like arrow and here for variable it is colon and equals to you need to remember these operators assignment operators so standard logic means one value standard logic vector means it is an array similar to standard logic there is standard u logic so in standard u logic total value levels are nine eight levels are similar to standard logic only extra logical level is u that is uninitialized the basic difference between standard logic and standard u logic is conflicting logic levels are not automatically resolved here so this is unresolved u logic is unresolved logic whereas standard logic is resolved logic suppose we are applying two levels simultaneously to single node then value will get resolved automatically whereas in case of unresolved value will not get resolved automatically next comes array as already explained for bit vector and uh, standard logic vector there are one di uh, dimensional arrays and there are two dimensional arrays so here to define array the syntax is first you should write word type when we define something new the first word is mandatory type type underscore name is array here you need to give specification and of which data type this array is i told you array contains only one kind of data all integers or all bits all boolean values only it can have so type matrix you know for a bit vector and a standard logic vector so you are aware of one dimensional arrays now let's talk about two dimensional array so type matrix is array 0 to 3 so there are four locations total locations are four or you can say there are four columns of standard logic vector 7 down to 0 each location can have 8 bit data or each location can store 8 bit of data so there are four columns and eight rows or you can say eight columns four rows so this is four by eight 
array. So signal X is matrix, which means X is my matrix, which has four columns and eight rows. In this way, we can define two dimensional arrays and we generally use two dimensional arrays to define memories like for FIFO memory or RAMs, we use this array, two dimensional array. So we, which will have locations in memory. I have suppose, let's say 16 locations and each location can store one bit data or two bit data that you need to define here. Next is record. As I told you initially, record means collection of objects and unlike arrays, records can contain objects of different data type. In array, data type is only one, whereas in case of records, it can have different types of data. So see, type birthday is record so i have created one record the name of that record is birthday so birthday will have what suppose let's say my birthday is on 1st of january so day that is first uh, and uh, a month january so day is integer so maximum uh, how many days are there 31 so i have taken integer range 1 to 31 i don't want want all integers what i want is only 1 to 31 so integer range 1 to 31 and month and months are 12 months so i need to define one more data type my own data type user defined data type month name which will have 12 names january february march up to December and record. So in this way, I can create my own record where I will have different data types. Okay, so these are all already present data types or now let's see enumerated or user defined data type so user defined data type so first example is integer so type a type word is very important whenever you define your own data type type word is mandatory so type a is range 0 to 100 it is a range 0 to 100 that is integer range signal x is of type a and x is assigned as 23 it means it can have any value from 0 to 100 next is an enumerated data type it is generally used for modeling of fsm fsm stands for finite state machine so it goes through finite number of states so here type state is state 0 state 1 state 2 state 3 and state 4 it has total five states signal next state is of type state it means next state is my signal my data object which will have state data type like signal a integer signal b bit or signal c boolean similarly signal next state is of type state so state is my data type Okay, so it was all about data types which VHDL can support. So there are predefined data types, then there are user defined data types, there are scalar data types, array, there are enumerated, there are records, or composite data types. So these data types are very important while writing VHDL code. They are also important for practical examinations. Uh, so thank you so much for watching share this video with your friends don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching